very, very unlucky for both of these players to be coming up against each other in the first round because both of them, very, very good PKers. And I think regardless of who wins here, Ron, we're going to see the loser of this fight make a pretty decent run in the loser's bracket. Nice. And uh, so Panic was actually initially out, um, but his opponent actually admitted to cheating uh, and was yep. disqualified as well in the Austrian qualification. So... That's why we're seeing him here today as well. Nice little bolt off prayer there for Panic. And you can see, Ron, when he gets this DD advantage, he really takes that advantage. Getting one or two free hits there against his opponent. Drew, unfortunately, not able to catch the freeze there. And he's down very low in hit points with that 28 barrage. He's going to have to eat up here. Pop a claw off prayer for about 33 damage. And Panic with all the momentum at the moment and straight back into that DD advantage. He is really, really pushing this momentum as far as he can take it. Drew really on the back foot here. He needs to catch himself a nice little freeze. Oh my God, look at that claw mm. back. Oh, oh, a nice retaliation there from Boss. Wow, this could be it, Ron. Wow. He's the oh. oh no way. He's out of here. Oh, almost a double. 360 disrespectful spin. He was in such control on that fight. Both players getting very lucky with their hits. It really did look like Panic was in control of that fight. And we can see 60 hits to 50 run, 10 extra hits. And that really adds up. And you can see here, 413 deserved damage on the tracker versus 337. So wow. Panic winning on the tracker there and losing in game, regardless of what the tracker says, like I said, one of these players died and, one of, and the other player didn't. So that is going to be yep. a one at the moment for Drew. Yep. see how this second fight goes but i think it's a very good chance we're going to be going to a third fight here a few moments later i think both players out of food here ron this could go yeah. either way both players out of food and sat on around 35 nope. hit points it's literally going to come down to the rng at this point panic taking a bolt in his roof robes off prayer for a zero nope. unfortunate for drew there either player going to catch a freeze nope. here could potentially win them this match they're both going for it panic i think he's caught it there no he hasn't nope. another splash they're both splashing out of their minds right nope. now both on very low hit points. There's one hit in it, Ron. One bolt could win this match. Panic's not out of food. There it is. Drew's going to take that out for 2-0 with a nice little 42 bolt to the dome. You can see from the tracker, Ron, 78 hits to 79. 66% on prayer versus 59 on prayer. An insanely close fight for that second round there. But unfortunately for Panic, he is going to be moving down into the loser's bracket. Nick Manet. Both these players, obviously friends. We see Panic, and um, they've just decided between themselves. Whoever wins on the tracker is the one that's going to be going through. Make that clear in terms of winning on the tracker. What kind of numbers um, are going to be the deciding factor here as well, Jake, uh, for the viewers at home? That's going to be the deciding factor is the deserved damage. That's what players mostly go off these days. There are other factors that come into it, like the, uh, the freeze percentage and stuff like that. But uh, most of the time it's just going to come down to the deserved damage mutual respect between the boys i guess uh oza you know being taught so much as well maybe feels like um if he won by rng he wouldn't be winning at all it was just uh undeserved so um it'll be interesting either way it's going to be good content nonetheless jake uh but once again the rng from both these players is not going to matter at all it's whoever gets the most damage on that track and a 70 ags <laughs> coming in from panic that is huge if the AGS did its maximum potential, but a nice little opal bolt spec coming in there for Clownish oh. and uh, Panic catching How's a he got away with that? <laughs> catching a freeze in his whip. I'm built different. Today, I don't believe we didn't have a staff that did back in the day, did we? We Bang. did, I think. Did we? I don't know, but I'm a Clownish, fake gamer. Clownish down. Ron, and uh, yes. we're about to find out who actually won that fight because we don't know yet. We're going to wait for the tracker. God. Yeah. Wow. Not bad. Pop up on the screen. You can see what we're laughing about. 213. 20 extra hits for Panic there. 20 yeah. extra hits. That is a big, big difference on the tracker. And, uh, I guess we can see why Panic wanted to do a tracker fight there because he almost lost that fight in terms of actual damage dealt and uh, was way, way ahead. If it's better on the tracker, it's better in game. So this man really trying to take the RNG out of RuneScape. I mean, it makes sense. If you win on the tracker, you win in game uh, over the long run. But sometimes you, you've got an extra couple of fights 
comes down to it this in these fights with you know you got two fights and rng definitely plays a factor but over the hundreds of fights that panic has done uh the rng doesn't play a factor and clownish actually wins this fight it is a uh, one one on the screen but a cheeky little reminder as well to the viewers at home um these boys have a uh, unique relationship um out of respect uh, basically clownish has said um you know it's they both agreed that it's going to be based on the tracker who has done the most deserved uh damage between the two we'll move on now we can see that panic was up by 173 deserved damage there so clownish getting some decent rng in both fights and uh that's gonna be it panic's gonna move on panic up against scissor and like i said i don't think scissor is going to be agreeing to a tracker win for this fight because i think he's going to need all the rng he can get you see the fight start out here both players opting for a bolt to start the fight and both players catching it off prayer scissor unfortunately being dd'd right now and missing three or four hits against his opponent finally catches that freeze back same time he copped a claw spec off prayer and another claw spec off prayer that was 46 damage there for panic a nice little spec for him. And now he's catching another bolt on robes off prayer for Scissor here. I think he might be a little bit out of his depth in this fight, Ron. And uh, Panic is showing why uh, he might be the best on the track. He's also the best in game right now. So far, it's been a bloody good fight. And that's what you can expect this deep into the tourney as the players get closer and closer to the same skill level. Yeah, absolutely. As stun goes down, Scissor loses that first fight. I would say Panic was probably closer out of food there. I could be wrong, but uh, that is a much better performance from Sizzle than I was expecting, Ron. And I think Panic is going to have his work cut out for him in this second match. Panic does, in fact, win on the tracker, missing about 40 damage that he was deserved. But if we have a look at Sizzle's damage deserved, 392 compared to 541. That being said, Panic still wins on the tracker and wins in game. And uh, everyone gets some bad RNG sometimes. And he managed to take advantage of his opponent's bad RNG. Claw spec through the prayer and a zero for Scissor. And then, oh my word, he is getting absolutely cooked at the moment. Another 57 damage coming in for Panic on that claw spec. And uh, Scissor's down a lot of food here on. I don't see how he can bring this one back. Next to each other, Scissor going in for that staff bash. Unfortunately, not hitting anything. And that's a big bolt and that's a KO. Oh, wow. A 51 to the dome to end it all. I believe that's possibly the max hit you can actually hit with those bolts, is it not? Uh, the numbers are not going to lie on that one. Um, it's actually quite unfortunate in both circumstances. I hate to talk about RNG in these fights here, Jake, but it is definitely worth mentioning how unlucky Scissor actually got on that one with 430 deserved damage. At the end of the day, with the bad RNG that Scissor got, uh, Panic still really deserved the win in the end. Um, yeah, Panic is going to take that one out 2-0. I got to be honest, based on what I've seen, Panic most likely going to take this one out, but we never know. Jay might come out swinging and say, hey, you know what? Not the best performance in the winner's bracket, but I got to come back and uh, redeem myself in this fight. As we see, Jay now coming in for the DD advantage. He really needs to bring this fight back. Definitely down on food at the moment. He's going to need some good RNG as well as some good gameplay to bring this one back. And we saw that Verex plate skirt right there, that freeze, and it was caught by Panic. He now has the DD advantage. He is in the driver's seat for this fight. And uh, I'll be surprised if we don't see him push his advantage while he's here in this DD and push that momentum. A bolt off prayer on half robes there for Panic, unfortunately hitting a zero. And he's getting a lot of nice hits off prayer and on robes here. But uh, at the moment, Panic completely dominating his opponent right now. I would love to see a kick or like even a nice little right hook to finish someone off here, you know, like a <laughs> unequip the staff and just give it a little bang right across the dome. And that's going to do it. That's uh, that's going to put Jay in the bin. Panic, pretty dominating performance from the man. Um, yeah, got to say, uh, I'm not surprised at all. Yeah, I mean, it's some mental warfare. It's basically in the username anyway, isn't it? So, uh, you know, it's panic. It's, it's in the name. He's even got the cheeky little one instead of the eye as well. Some nice yeah. uh, edgy PK, uh, you know, lettering and stuff. Well, well done. <laughs> but the extra defensive bonus is coming in handy. And another Staff Bash there from Panic. He loves a Staff Bash, this man. But it looks as though Panic is out of food here. Potentially both of them out of food. Panic can't seem to catch a freeze. He does catch a freeze now for a 16. Both players, I think, out of food here. And a Claw Spec coming oh in for God. Panic. That could have finished the fight right there. And he hit a zero. It's completely off prayer from his opponent. More bolts coming in. This is two, three free hits here for Panic on his opponent when they're both out of food. Jay cannot be giving away free hits like this at this point in the fight when it is so close. Panic down to low wow. hit points, but he takes it out. 
And I think that's where the, the real speed right there. Panic was so lucky to get that uh, that last ice barrage off. That definitely gave him the upper hand. And obviously, uh, you, you say he's, he's a quick clicker. And he's forcing those miss hits, which gave him an increased opportunity to secure that win. And uh, we definitely saw that when he took it out there at the end. I'm seeing the numbers. I'm seeing the numbers. They're looking very, very dangerous. And a little bit. 16 extra hits there for Panic in that fight. Close match in game, but another decisive victory there for Panic. This next fight, Ron, probably the fight that is going to be the best of the tournament. Two big content creators coming up against each other. Two big PKers, Panic versus Ditter Bitter. This is going to be a sick one. He himself says the only person he doesn't want to come up against is Panic. Panic showing just then, he's not to be messed with, but I gotta, I gotta, I gotta back my boy up here. I gotta put my money down on Ditter Bitter, and I think he's gonna take this one out. A few moments later. Um, I've also got the numbers from the prediction. Uh, while the fight is going on, 16% in favor of Ditter, and a whopping 84% have put the money down on Panic. So, uh, Ditter, definitely the underdog in this one, according to the chat. Yeah, and that's some great value if you've been on Ditter Bitter there, because like I said, both these players being pretty similar in skill difference to each other, but at the moment, Ditter Bitter out of food on his last legs, Panic, completely full hit points, most likely still has food left, and Ditter misses that redemption flick that he could have got that redemption off there. I'll tell you now, Jake, I have lost all my coins. As expected, from what we saw in game, 73 hits there for Panic versus 59 hits there for Ditta Bitter. 119 deserved damage up. Absolutely insane there. Ditta needs these these freezes desperately because, as you said before, um, you know, he's such a good offensive player. When he's got them on the back foot, he keeps them there for a long time. And he's very good at the uh, at the fakies and changing late and getting that damage on where he needs to. But he's just not getting the freezes he needs to take advantage of his strength there. Yeah, absolutely. I'd be surprised to see uh, Panic out of food here as well as we see him just eat up. And uh, we saw Ditta use his brew just then. And another hit just like that. Panic really taking advantage of the diagonal step out there, making sure Ditta misses a lot of hits. He needs a freeze here. He absolutely needs to catch this one. Unfortunately, his opponent also catches the freeze. We see a redemption coming in for Ditta. So he's still got a chance. A second redemption. That's 60 health he didn't have coming into this fight, but I don't think it's going to be enough, Ron. Doesn't. Is he going to get frozen back? No, he's not. I'm he needs this different. freeze, Ron, if he has any chance. Unfortunately, he gets frozen himself and he just can't catch it back on his opponent. And that is going to be it for him. Going he knows to it too. Oh, a third he redemption the from the redemption. man. Oh, my word. Three redemptions coming in. And unfortunately, that fourth one not coming Mate. in. Uh, oh my god, look at this tracker on. Oh my god. Oh my lordy, lordy, lordy. 88 hits for Panic versus the 77 of Ditter. But as you can see down in the numbers here, 519 deserved damage and 317 actual damage for Ditter there. And seven, seven out of his 26 freeze attempts went through. So uh, unfortunate on the RNG there, but you can't lie. Panic here with 133 damage up on the tracker, really putting on a show and getting 349 actual damage hit over his opponent did a bit of here. So he is going to be taking that one down in a 2-0 and uh, unfortunate for did a bit of here. What a spree too. Um, obviously Panic got dropped out of the winner's bracket basically in his first best of three. And the man has just been on the cleanup since. Yeah, um, that is true, actually. Wow. 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 So two zip. Losing your first match, making it through to the Worlds, and potentially still playing for that $1,000 prize money up top. Yeah, and here we go, one. boys and girls. We are so. back into the arena with Drew going head to head with Panic. Um, all the best to the boys. Let's hope they've tied their shoelaces. We're going to see some red hot action here, Jake. It's now Drew turning that DD advantage around. Might take a moment here to eat up, regain his composure, but he's sat on around half hit points here and not eating at the moment. Potentially out of food is Drew. Interested to see how much Panic has left. And a 42 bolt, that is the maximum hit there from Panic off prayer. 42 bolt to Drew there. And uh, he is currently sat on about half hit, hit points. Had to hit a triple eat there. The Karambuan, Angler, and the Brew all in one sec. 60 health being killed by Drew, but I'd be surprised to see if he had any food left in his inventory at the moment. 24 damage coming in from the barrage there from Panic, who's also sat on about half hit points, but Drew still eating. This man's brought a pack yak into Where did he get all this food from? <laughs> I thought he would have been out of the game by now, Jake. I tell you what, he's doing very well to 
uh, to, to stick in there, man. Another 42 bolt coming in from Panic. Those bolts are going nuclear. It's not currently eating at the moment. Both players on the same amount of hit points and Drew with the DD advantage. And Drew still eating again. Where is all this food coming from? I have no idea. It seems as though he was way down in this fight, but apparently he was way up. Panic currently out of food. Absolutely. There's no way he has any food left in his inventory right now. And I'd be surprised to see Drew having any food left either. Both players trying to catch the freeze here to get that last little bit of damage in, and it's just going to come down to who has the best RNG at the end of this fight. Panic coming in with a 10 barrage on the Mage Prayer of his opponent. Both players going for a bolt versus a barrage. Incoming bolt from Panic, not a 42 this time, catches it off Prayer. Both players just trying to get this last little bit of damage in. We're not seeing any redemption for, uh, uh, flicks from the players. And uh, Panic there, taking a 36 bolt to the head, and Drew's going to take down the first fly run. Guess lucky from Drew as well to, to end it in a 36 right to the head. Um, you can see, <laughs> I think Panic was a little bit, uh, you know, surprised himself with the end comment, mate. As you can see on the tracker here, it was Panic with the advantage. 83 hits to 78, and 590 deserved damage versus 522. So Drew getting a little bit lucky on his hits there, and Panic not getting as lucky. I think Panic's probably going to take this one back to a nice cheeky 1-1. One -one. I mean... He's got to do it for the content. Got the uh, the numbers as well from the chat here, Jake. It would be a massive upset if Drew was to take this out for a 2-0 win. 86% uh, um, have been, basically uh, of, of the of the points have been put down on, on Panic to win this and take this one out, whereas it's just 40% with Drew as well. So uh, according to the chat, really, I mean, Drew being quite the underdog on this. At the moment, I would say in this fight, Panic is definitely in the driver's seat, getting a nice few bolts in, a nice few whips, and has the DD advantage currently. Uh, let's see if he can continue on with this advantage. Not quite out of food yet, but he's definitely at a disadvantage, and that claw spec is not going to help him. A zero, 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 zero on the tank and in prey for Panic there. But a 41 bolt coming through. This is exactly the RNG needs to bring this one back, but Panic now with that DD advantage, drew out of food. We're going to need to see a redemption coming in here from him. He needs to catch a freeze and stop Panic from hitting him, but unfortunately... A 33 freeze, and that's going to take him out. As we see that tracker come in, Ron, a 528 deserved damage there for Panic, and he did 594. So a decisive win there on that tracker for uh, for Panic again. That's the second match in a row. He's got the tracker win. It seems as though he has the advantage at the moment on both the trackers, and uh, if he can keep this up going into the third fight, and the RNG is in his uh, in his favor, he should be able to take this one out. A bolt spec off prayer there for Drew, only hitting an 18. Once again, that spec can hit up to 53. So not the biggest uh, hit from Drew there, but wow, the claw coming in, and the bolt, and another bolt. He's done like 100 damage to his opponent here. We see a question mark from Panic saying, what is going on here? But at the same oh. time, he is not getting any of his prayers correct here. And he's almost been taken out. We just saw what we've been talking about this entire tournament. He ate in between those two claw hits coming in there. Two hits coming before the, uh, on the first tick and two hits coming on the second tick. And if he didn't eat right then, he would have been KO'd out of this tournament. Drew coming out and saying, you know what? I might have lost on the track at both times. I don't care. I'm representing my clan here. I'm making sure I'm going to get the win and go through the grand final and get some redemption against George. That is for sure. Drew coming out all guns blazing and Panic is going to have to do something special to bring it back here. Drew's Bolt RNG in this fight has been absolutely incredible. And uh, if you have any moment in this tournament that you want the RNG to come through, Ron, now is the time. This is make or break for both of these players and a epic matchup at the end here. A bolt off prayer there for Panic, not doing any damage. Panic now going for the freeze against his opponent. Whip is coming on both sides, trying to catch each other off prayer. Panic not getting it there, but Drew getting the whip off prayer for a 14. Once again, both players going for the freeze here. Panic staying in his tank, getting around a 10, uh, sorry, a 20 claw spec there on prayer against his opponent, following his opponent. We love to see Panic doing that, always following his opponent to make sure he's right next to him. Panic is out mm. of food here. And that was a whip chance there from Drew. Another whip chance. And uh, we're going to have to see Panic pull off a redemption here because he's oh. currently so far behind in this fight. Drew, not out of food just yet, but Panic is bringing it back here with a 30 barrage into a 33 barrage. Potential for a KO here if he gets another one off. A 10. Drew is currently getting as many hits off as he can. And Panic brings it back. Two redemptions to take it out. I'm built.
different. What an amazing match. That was action-packed from the get-go, Jake. And that redemption, you could confidently say, has won that man the best of three there. Actually win this fight when he was down by about 100 hit points. It's the first time we've seen something that close in this tournament. Have a look on the tracker. We can see that he did deserve to win as well. Three fights. Panic has deserved to win. And uh, Panic. Wow. Going out in the first round. Losing to Drew in the first round at 2-0. Making a full run through the loser's bracket to make it into the grand final of the Oceana, Bra uh, Oceana bracket. I mean, I guess we're going to have to go ahead and say that uh, the last match up there, Drew versus Panic, that was the real grand final, and uh, Panic takes that one out anyway. Okay, so we do have the final word, ladies and gentlemen. Panic is going to get the win. I'm not too sure if George will be receiving a second place prize, so maybe Drew uh, might be picking up the 350. Time will tell on that one there. Um, and a big props as well for the uh, winner's bracket. That will conclude the stream tonight. That is all from us here on the front desk. I hope you guys have enjoyed yourself. My name is Ron Plays Games and uh, my boy Ebiescape. We will be signing off. Thank you very much for joining us, guys. Good night. Peace. Peace. What are you waiting for? Do it! Yes, I'm real.